So the Northern Lights are, are very similar to how a neon light works, really. You run an electrical current through a gas and it, you get it to admit light. But the reason we've got these electrical currents flowing through the atmosphere is because the, the Earth's own magnetic field is being, as you say, battered by um, these eruptions from the sun that left about three days ago. Uh, so, we, so we knew they were coming and forecast them quite well. Well, having the advance warning from the forecasts helped, I think. Um, there's a certain amount of preparation that can be done. Um, we're not really going to know the full... Um, we, the, nothing disastrous has happened, as far as we know. Um, we, over the next coming few weeks, we'll really dig into what the effects were, particularly on the power grid. Yeah, so, so the different colours come from different constituents of the atmosphere. And so you normally get the greens and the reds from oxygen. Um, and just occasionally you can see the pinks and the blues from the nitrogen, which requires a bit more energy to stimulate the emission. But uh, it, it was just such an intense storm last night that we got that. So there are a couple more of these solar eruptions that are en route. Um, there's just been so many of them in the last few days. I mean, space was just a mess yesterday. Um, there's a few more ebbing through. They should arrive tonight, but I don't expect it to be anything like as impressive as last night, unfortunately.